Okay, it's on live. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites of New Orleans, Louisiana Saints. Here to bring you a quick lesson. Prior to get started, we're going to give infinite honors and prayers too. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the whole few you like and you are coming out quite a belief. And we're just going to go ahead and hop in a, a, a quick lesson tonight, man, of not turning back, man. Because understanding the things that are going on right now, how far we are in this race, it shouldn't even click in your mind to ever turn back. All right. We're in the midst of, of a World War III finally uh, pretty much being announced of, you know, getting kicked off, you know, with America going out there and, and bombing uh, Syria and so on and so forth, making their, their presence known inside of this war even more. And like I said, man, it's, it's, it's too much going on. And we also know that, you know, through prophecy, you know, that was taught down to us that this is this is damn near the end, man. We're, we're at the at the at the lad the last leg of this race, but at the end of the day, this is not the time at all to 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 even consider turning back, stopping, quitting, you know, asking for a trade. Like we we we're, we're, we're in the championships, man. This is this is the championship game right now, and it's looking like we're in like the the two minute drill, and we just need to you know stay locked in and keep going. But uh, you could uh, who. Amawad, you had that uh, first precept? Okay. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 20. It says, For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Kind, kind. And that the first that's precept right there sticks heavy because uh like I was just chopping it up with the brothers before we started this lesson, the uh, the elder apostle uh, Ramlot uh, dropped a quick video about a, a brother who used to be in GMS, but he left from GMS and tried to go pursue some type of career. OK. And what happened to him? He went to a club and Jake ended up getting smashed, man. Somebody killed him. All right. So he he had, you know, if he was a part of GMS, obviously brothers was teaching him, you know, the word and so on and so forth. But. This this brother was gaining this knowledge and so on and so forth, but he he drew back. He drew back with that knowledge that he had to try to go back and ultimately met his faith. All right. And that's 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 what that's the fear that you should have in your mind of like, you know, we, we got too much information that we know right now. OK. And at this point in time, if you that's that's the that's the risk. And that's what's most likely going to happen. Or that's definitely going to happen if you. You know, you step away from this thing, man. We we too far in it. You got a precept. Kind, kind. You got it, Elder. This is First Corinthians chapter nine, verse sixteen. <clears throat> I'm gonna read it in the in the KJV, then the NLT. First of all, in the, in the K, KJV, it says, "For though I preach the gospel." Right, which that guy he was preaching the gospel at one time, and have not, and have not, my bad, and have nothing to glory of. For necessary, for, ne for necessary is laid upon me. Yea, woe, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. And that's the point. Oh, you you got it. This is and this in the NLT. It says yet preaching. Good news is not sometimes is not something I can boast about. I'm compelled by the most high to do it. How terrible for me if I cannot preach the good news. You got to you want this? Oh, come, on, come. On. Like I said, it's it's like I said, man, that's 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 terrible, man. That's terrible, and it's, it's it's really scary, man. You know, going again, what I just said that you gotta have that fear in this thing, okay? Because uh, the the first thing I think about is uh, the uh, the Matrix, your, your boy who who wanted to take the pill to go back into the world. All right, like for that me. that yeah, uh, what was that like the the blue pill or the the red pill? Uh, I forget which which one it was, but uh, 
homie basically he you know he was he was tired of of, of suffering through all that shit that they know that they had to, that they had to go through all right but he chose to you know uh fold up man he tried to fold up and and basically try to have the good things you know knowing that the everything was going to come to an end regardless all right you got, got more what you want yeah, to say and he got killed too you know God. he his famous line was oh i know the stick isn't real but it's just it's just so succulent it's so juicy that, that's once you come into this truth you actually know the actual truth the we don't call it the truth for no reason this is the truth this is the truth about the elites how society works the truth about men and women the truth about the, the earth everything you learn the truth the full truth about reality and for you to go back in the world you start celebrating holidays you start uh trying to become a good husband you start trying to climb a burning ladder getting status in a society that's about to be destroyed you you bugged out, man. You will willfully yeah. lying to yourself. I got you. Yeah, you 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 go and try to be Carl Carl Winslow, man. Yeah. All right. What's the other guy from Family Matters? What's his name? Yeah, yeah. The police. Carl yeah. Winslow. Yeah, Carl Winslow and shit, man. Want to live a he he cliff huxable lifestyle, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Wait. Uh, Salaka, uh, real quick, uh, Kaya Amawa, you could read 21 and I give it to you, Kaya. Come of that second Peters. Come this verse 21 for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Come man, it, it's better that you even didn't even hear this word, man. That is, it's better that we we have never, uh, probably would never even met the brother you know even though like you know we haven't met the brother but the brother being in gms and so on and so forth it's like it's better that you would continue to choose that singing life whatever career that you wanted to do it would have been it would have been way better than that because now you've known all these things and now you get you had your judgment man you got fucked up behind that but uh what you got kaya you want to bring it up i got all right that guy one for you too. Come on, come on, come on. Now go ahead. Okay, Khan. Now, like you said, brother, it's more better to just remain the enemy than to become leave from being the enemy to being a brother and a true to going back to being an enemy. All right, you just was better off of even becoming a man because it's like it's a twofold judgment on you from there and this is Hebrews 6 verse 4 it says for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the holy ghost and have tasted the good word of our power and the powers of the world to come if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. Seeing they crucify themselves to the son of our power afresh and put him to an open shame. God. God, God. And like you were just saying, brother, like it's you, you, you join, you join the team, you quit the team, and like you know, just just that that sequence right there. You know, that's that's no bueno, man. You can't do that, man. Like that's that's you. The, the whole thing with it, man, is that by you even getting inside of, of seeing all these things of what can possibly come, you basically just said, fuck the Lord at the end of the day, man. Like, I, I don't want no dealings with y'all and so on and so forth. You became an enemy, man. You chose your side. So now, nah. what, what you got, Kaya? Yeah, who 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 in their right mind would double down on God? You double right. down on a bet in Vegas? You know, you double down on somebody you really don't care about? Oh, oh, woman or something. But who in their right mind would double down on God and then hope in their mind that they gonna fail well or fail at the end or at the last very well, man? God. Retards. You got God. it. Y'all do not. Would you, you want to say something, Kaya? I mean, it's like it. Kalaya? Con, con. Yeah, I want to say this. Hey, it show you in those mob movies, man. You know, the regular guy who trespassed against the boss and he get a regular judgment all right mm -hmm. but once you once you get in deep hey it starts becoming personal that's when yeah. the law really fuck over you you know that's really yeah. really like you know show forth his hand and make you an example 
Gun. Feelings get involved, you know? Hey, the Lord, like, yeah. this nigga, you know, I had him in the fold. You see? Yeah. And it's an example uh -huh. to all us other brothers, like, this could happen to you too. Nobody ain't special. Gun. You got, hey. I got a precept too, but. Y'all can not hear the heads. I just want to see something. Y'all can not got heads. Hey, did anybody bring out Luke 9? I'm no. holding that. Okay, I'll bring it out. This is a uh, red letter. All right, this is Luke 9 and 62. And, mm -hmm. and Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit, all right, fit for the kingdom of heaven. Come on. You're not, you're not fit for it, man. You can't, you can't, you can't try to do this work and, and, and look back. It's basically what it's saying, man. You know, you can't you can't try to do two things at once. Either you head first with this thing or you just completely looking back and you going out and going do your thing. All right. You can't you can't you can't balance. You can't play both sides of the fence. You know, the Lord don't deal with that, man. Choose your side and choose it wisely. Uh, I actually hope you are uh, where I are on this one. I know you got your precept, brother. If I could see this to make a point of what Kalia said. Now, everybody should know the story with Judas. When he betrayed the Lord. Now remember, yes. before Judas was chosen to follow the Lord, he was an enemy of the Lord. You automatically the enemy then become a friend. Then you gotta you gotta be friend to become an enemy. So after he did betray the Lord of following up on um, of Yahweh Shai, the Lord slammed his body down and his body slammed his body when he gave the Holy Ghost, man. It should uh, cutting up real bad, man. Oh, it's cutting up. Yeah, ain't here. No, yeah. You said. All right, Con, just go ahead. I, I, I follow up. Follow. You got it. Go ahead, right. You had one, Con. Yeah, but I, I get it after you, Malak. You got it. Okay. Oh, oh. This is a uh, Luke chapter fourteen. I'm gonna start at twenty-seven. Hey yo, hey, hey. Here. Yo. You messing up too, bro. Real bad. How do I sound now? Yeah, but you kind of, yeah. oh my, you kind of, it's all deep pixeled and you kind of slow down. Am I am I good on it? Bad on everybody else's end? We can hear you. No, you you're good. No. You good? No. What about now? You free? You freezing on mine? Kind. I'm gonna yeah, get freezing. I'm I'm gonna go out and come back in. Mind, mind still messing up? No, you straight now. No, you, you good, now. Yeah. Oh, so I'll make the point. What I was saying was uh, with Kalaya, I was laying back off Kalaya. Everybody should know and take heed to the story of Judas because when J Judas betrayed Yahweh Shai, all right, it was a the, the debt that the Lord gave him when he hanged himself when the Lord slammed his body, his bowels uh, gushed out, man. Uh, his spirit, the moment he gave his spirit up. All right? Mm -hmm. Because that was personal unto the Lord to sit and eat and put his hand, on, you know, in, into the same uh, tray as our Lord. That's a, that's like a, that's a, a, a offense that's greater than a regular offense of one who never brushed shoulders with him, who never broke brain with you. Like you mm -hmm. say, it'll be more personal. The uh, the punishment will be more personal to the Lord to get closer to own the Lord than to be to stay further away, man. But you got it, brother. You got it. God. Hey, so like if I could add to you real quick, how y'all and uh, Kalia again, land backing off your point. Like I said, it, it's become it becomes way more personal than that, man. Like I said, you know these are the uh, our brothers and so on and so forth that we we've taken to our home. You know, we've given everything that if you needed it, you know, we'll give you the clothes off our back if you need it, man, and so on and so forth. But you just go ahead and you 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 choose sides and switch sides at this point in time. All right. But then ultimately, you not not even us, you know, we're, we're one of the factors, but ultimately you're doing it to the Lord, man. You, you're turning your back into the Lord. And that's that's the, the ultimate disrespect, you know, which won't be allowed. But you got it right. Am I good? Am I good now? Yeah, your, your voice is good, but your your screen frozen. Okay. Uh, let me know if the audio gets bad. But this is Luke chapter 12, verse 47. And it's in red, so it's Yahweh speaking. 
And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. Huh. Yeah, and that's that's the punishment, man. It's it's going to be a punishment regardless, as the brother going to continue into it. But like I said, this is this is the the servant that that of you said the servant that known it or the servant that not known it. Did you start the on time? That, the the servant kind of reread it. This is Luke twelve and forty seven, and that servant which knew his lord's will and prepared not himself. Kind of. Neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. Con, con, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the verse uh, before that of the the person, the servant that that didn't know. That's the next one. Oh, that's the next one. Okay, Salaki, Salaki. I got it mixed up. But uh, like I said, that the servant that knew what was going on, man, is is definitely a lot of judgment, a lot of stripes, and a, a lot of uh, you know atrocities that's going to be heading your way, man, because you know what's going on. You know what's going on, and you're you're choosing not to obey the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you know. But not ultimately choosing, because obviously the Lord is putting you in that position for Him to fuck over you for which reason, you know, we may not know. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's 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 definitely a bigger punishment of knowing knowing this truth, and you know, pulling back. It goes into that next verse, verse huh. forty-eight. But he that knew not. And did commit things worthy of stripes shall be be stripes. To Con. whomsoever yeah. much is given, mm -hmm. you got it. Oh, Con. You can for, under, it Con. for unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required, and to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. Gone. And like I said, that was the second part of it, okay? Because either way it go, it's, it's going to be a judgment, okay? You may have not been involved in the, in the body, you know? You may have not known. You might have known one pieces or two pieces of probably, you know, of the Israelite that you are Israelite, but you just haven't committed yourself to it. You're still going to get punished, man, all right? Because it's, it's no reason. You, you, you still do have, like, we, we live in, in, we're in 2023, man. We got the internet about us and we could go ahead and search whatever. We have social media. This thing is constantly flowing around. All right. So you're going to know something about this. All right. But if you don't commit yourself to it, you're still going to be beaten with stripes. All right. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, uh, with celebrities out cool. here. Oh, can y'all hear me? No, you got it out. Yeah, your, your, your uh, audio is still good. It's just your screen, just fucking everybody up. I was just going to back up what you said. You know, in some form or fashion, most Jakes have heard that they're Israelites, but a lot of them, you know, they're still. Now your audio up. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Try one more time up. You, you got it, Kali. Okay. Kind of, yeah, this is the book of First John chapter 2 verse 18 it says little children it is the last time and when you read that that uh verse right down that last time is going into um you know the last hour we in the last seconds of time right now okay but it reads little children it is the last time and as ye have heard that antichrist shall come now we're antichrist is just the adversary of the messiah all right, and that's backing up what the brother Amawa was saying earlier. All right, when he made his point, okay, if you're not with the Lord, you against him. So everybody that's not in the fold, you are a antichrist. All right, you're not for the Lord. So it reads, it says, even now there are many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time, and this is the point, verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. All right. Hey, and it's, that's, that's apparent, man. Okay. The elect will continue in this thing no matter what. All right. Through the rebuke, through the reproof. All right. Through the bad, the good, the ugly, the elect are going to continue 
uh, uh, to the end. That's the point of being the elect. Okay. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump to um, 21 because this also back up the point that Amawad had made. It says verse 21. I have not fuck it 22. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. So the Lord have supped with men, okay, and given them the eye self to see things, to see the truth, to understand the truth. All right. Mm-hmm. It says, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. So we all right, we we, we perfectly know, okay, hey, this is the truth. All right, we are the people of the Bible. Yahweh is the power, all right, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, we 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 know these things, and we 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 share with these things. All right, so like you said, brother, there's no reason Jay should be double-minded and, and and falling back from this thing. You got it, out. Come, huh. and like you said, bro, like ultimately, uh, what what does it say in the, uh that the second address, the 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 men. Uh, who who stood firmly, you know, that's that's the ones who are going to get the crown. All right. So knowing that there was the one that, that stood firmly and uh, uh, read that. Uh, I got that, a precept too. Con, con, that, that last verse that you were not 22, but the one before you, you jump. Con. Of the fold, something like that. Oh, uh, verse 19, it says they went out. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they uh-huh. had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. Come on. And like I said, that's that's just the ultimate will of the Lord at the end of the day, man. All right. Because like I said, uh, what's the uh, scripture? You know, uh, many are called, but few are chosen. All right. So knowing that 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 is going on is it's going to be, you know, men are constantly in brothers could attest to it. Being in this thing for the amount of years that the elder and so on and so forth, that these other brothers have been in this truth, man. They have seen men going in and out this thing, man. All right. And but them leaving and not coming back, like I said, that was all the word of the Lord. You know, they they were they were never for us because if they they're not here at this moment, you know, and it's crunch time where we we grinding and we working. All right. It's not it's it's not meant for them. And they 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 wasn't supposed to be here. All right. They're not of us. But uh I got one. Oh, God. So like it. It's, uh, yeah. This is Matthew 7 and 21. It says, uh, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that uh-huh. do it, he that do it the will of my Father which is in heaven. And it, it goes on to say this. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have not have we not prophesied in thy name? Question mark. And in thy name have cast out devils? Another question mark. All right. But it goes on to say, in and in thy name do it many wonderful works. Another question mark. Mm-hmm. And then will I? This is how I. This is the reply to. It. And then will I uh, profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Con, I've never known you. All right, Jake out here thinking that man, I I didn't did this for for twenty years. I didn't did this for thirty years, and so on and so forth. But then when it comes to the the last month before everything is about to stop, and you quit because you like, oh man, I didn't did this so long, and nothing ain't happened yet. It's like it's it's like a it's like a, a big you know fuck you to the face of. Our, because at the end you didn't finish you know this whole thing like we also we know that we're in a race and if you're not finishing this race it's like what are you doing all right and that that makes me think about that uh i don't know if y'all brothers ever seen like that that picture of the meme of they got a uh two guys with a pickaxe and they're digging towards a diamond and they got a guy that gets real close to the diamond but he quits because he he just been doing it too long but they got somebody up there that's a little bit further behind him, but he's working hard as hell trying to get to that diamond. You know, that's that's how to, that's that's basically what if you know to give an imagination of, of what the scripture that the elder just brought up. All right, you thinking that you you've been doing that for so long and so on and so forth, and you know you you read you renege at the last moment, the wrong moment, and the Lord don't want no dealings with you. 
I got some for you. Con, you got a shop. Con, it's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 4. It says, <clears throat> When thou vowest a vow unto the Most High, defer not to pay it, for he had no pleasure in fools, pay that which thou hast vowed. You know, ultimately, when you make that vow to, to serve the Lord and follow the Lord and do his work, do his will, you can't go back on that vow, man. All right. The Lord not going back on his vows, you know, so you can't go back on that vow. They say, um, for he had no pleasure in fools and pay that which thou hast vowed. So if you're going back on your word, you're going back off of your commitment, your vow that you made to the Lord to do this work, to serve the Lord. You know, the Lord is calling you a fool, you know, because, you know, the elect, they're going to pay their, they're going to pay their vow at the end of the day. Verse five, it says, better is it that thou shouldest not vow than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. You got it, bro. And that, that goes for, I'm going to say this. You ultimately can say that that's the same way. Uh, uh, we met plenty of guys openly make a commitment about coming to camp uh, and all this other madness. Same thing you with us. You making a vow. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get in the truth. I'm gonna do this thing. You know, I'm gonna serve the Lord till the kingdom come. And then something comes, and you know, get you, you get distracted and take you out. You still made that vow. You still on the clock with the Most High. You made that vow. All right. Uh -huh. A woman comes about. Uh, a child. A job. All right. The pursuit of money. Some niggas are just the pursuit of happiness, man. Mm -hmm. Whatever that may, whatever that may be, you know, right? But you still made, you still. Once you cross over to this side, it's a whole different ball game. Once you make the commitment to put on a garment, make yourself a living sacrifice, all right, become a spectacle to the world. Hey, man, you on the clock? You can't just say, "Oh, I'm a renege. Oh, I want nah, I ain't interested like them. I want this to go away. Nah, that don't work like that, man. Like mm -hmm. we always go into down here. It was blood that pushed you into this truth, which is the bloody how shy. Hey, blood must be required, man. All right, uh. and that's it's gonna be your blood. It ain't gonna be it. It's true to tell you, y'all was shy and going back on that cross for your black ass, man. All right, y'all was shy and going through what he went through in the times of old for your black ass. He went, he did it one time and one time only. It's not happening mm -hmm. again, man. Which many guys do. You know, it ain't shit out there in the world. I'm gonna say that it ain't a goddamn thing out there. Ain't nothing out there but the White House. And you see how he getting down. Okay. <laughs> you see how these niggas is getting these niggas is freaks, man. Everybody's freaked out, dope out, and and then this on some other shit. Everybody bugged out, man. That's what you start to find out. All right. As you start to uh stack on years in the truth, and you start to really Put on the, 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 the reality blinders, which opening your eyes even more, everybody on some other shit, man. But the brothers, you know, right? But the brothers, man. But ultimately, like I say, it don't work that way, man. You can't you can't sit here and call yourself bullshit in the most high. You get in the truth, whatever happens, I don't give a fuck what it may be, man. You you can got into the brothers. You ain't got into it. You you you, you just fell off, and you just stopped. Cold turkey type of shit. Nah, it don't work that way, man. You gotta continue on. It's not even about the brother. It's not even about the the the, the acronym, or the or the or the GMS or the or the Great Millstone. It's ultimately about your house shot. Just keep teaching. Mm -hmm. Just keep teaching, man, and and teach what was taught to you. By the apostles, you know, which which any any student of the game or whatever it may be, boxing, uh, football, baseball, any 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 one of those goddamn sports. Same thing with this, man. Even though however it went down, you still honor you still supposed to honor 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 those who taught you, man. Do the good, bad, and ugly, all right? And you hold on to what they taught you because it's it's ultimately true. You don't go to you don't go to just to changing shit up, man. Remixing shit, all right. Making up shit, man. But go ahead. I, I just want to say that though. Uh, Bobby Gashad, could a brother get uh Luke seventeen and thirty two? 
I got some. I got one for you too. I got one too. Kyle, you you can run it real quick. I got the, I got the I'm gonna say this too, man. Oh, like the uh, one thing the elders always push, and I see a lot of guys lack it, man. A lot of guys lack this. A lot of a lot of you dudes out there, man, you don't have integrity, man, at all, man. No God. character, no integrity, just nothing, man. Nigga, nigga, a nigga came and say, "My bad," when they caught dead ass wrong, man. Or they just ultimately going the fuck off. You just nothing. You know? And like hey, I said, I'll... what you about to say? So like, no, you, you could finish. I want to add something to you after you finish. Go ahead, you got it. Oh, no, I, I wanted to uh, add to you because I, uh, me and Kali, we was talking about this the other day, man. Like, backing up what you just said about the integrity, uh, Elder. Like I said, they had a, you know, couple of my partners in the world and so on and so forth that, you know, you, you still want to deal with or still try to, you know, at least keep in contact with. And you just understand that they're they're not on the same time as as the brothers, you know? You know, if, if we setting up a time and if we say that we're going to be here and we're going to do this and we're going to do that, anytime that come from one of y'all brothers, I know that that shit going to happen. And if it don't happen, I know y'all going to give me a timely advance of like, hey, brother, something came up and so on and so forth. Everything is going to be publicly announced of, 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 of the, you know, the events that's going on. But dealing with Jake in this world, you would, you would set something up with Jake, man, and Jake won't even call you. Won't even call you, won't even let you know what's Maybe. going on and so on and so forth and act like everything is just normal. Like, bro, we were supposed to, you know. Yeah, he didn't make that made the plan. He didn't make that made the plan. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. It's coming out. It's coming out tonight. Nigga, nigga made this shit up, man. Me and that brother, yeah. me and that brother Goliath were talking about that shit. You know, we just, we just know that it's from niggas in the world, even at work. Like, niggas, these niggas don't have no honor, man. These niggas in the world, no honor, no, no, no. No drive, no commitment to nothing, no communication. These niggas are sloppy, man. I hate, mm -hmm. I hate a sloppy motherfucker, man. I'm, I'm serious, motherfucker. I just hate that shit, man. Yeah, bitch, I'm coming. I'm coming over that. Ain't never, ain't never coming. This nigga on the other side of town, some fucking what, man? God, All right? Laid up with some poom poom or some shit. Whatever the nigga mm -hmm. doing. And just don't keep your word, man. You gotta keep your word with brothers, man. You tell the brother you're gonna do something, do that shit, man. Or if something let's let's, let's not be over righteous about shit. If something happened, something come into play, you 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 tell the brother what happened, man. And be truthful about it. Don't be making up shit either, man. You just be truthful about it. Hey brother, you know, XYZ happened, you know, and, and, and you move on. And like I said, you try to, you know, make up uh plans for it again or however, man, but you make shit right. You owe a brother money, make that shit right. Get a brother's money, man. Sitting around here playing them crackhead games, man. Oh, you the, 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 I, I thought I paid you. Man, you know fucking well you didn't pay that man. You know, you, you know oh. that. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, Come man. On. It's not playing games yet, man. I mean, it's not about, you know, fuck the money, but, you know, it's about the word. It's about the principle. Most mm -hmm. niggas in the world get fucked up because of the, about the principle. It's the how you done this shit, man. Way you the way you went about doing the shit, fucking over somebody, man. That's why I said a lot of mm -hmm. these niggas out here in the world they ain't, they ain't fucked over somebody, man. Women, the woman too. You know what? I, like I said, you wonder why niggas shoot them till they catch on fire. They ain't fucked over somebody, man. It's about the right. principle. Don't open that, that, that niggas when that ain't that nigga big worm toe smoky. It's about the principle, smoky. <laughs> what we told that nigga? I think that's what we told. Yeah. Cause, cause what, what was going on? Smokey was ducking him. Smokey yeah. owed him some money, and Smokey probably said that he was gonna pay him his money, but was ducking him. He and don't be ducking brothers, business. man. That's a that's a premise of shit. Don't be ducking brothers, man. All right, you made you you made some shit. You made up whatever it may be. You making shit right with brothers, man. Them the first people, man. I could I could done the same shit with my my cousin or something. Fuck him. I'm gonna make it right with the brothers. That nigga, he can he can. Tough titty. He can get it with he can get it how he live. But brothers, I'm gonna make that shit right. Mm -hmm. No, even if I'm wrong, I'm gonna make this shit right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it's about. It's about standing on ten toes as a man, all right? And you and you and you doing what's right, man. Some hey man, all the time you gotta do what's right, brother. Fuck all that, bro. Fuck all the how the feelings and emotions. Do what's right, man. 
that, that keep a lot of bullshit down too. Go ahead. You want to uh, say something, Kali? Come, on, bro. I just had a quick definition. Oh, this this just uh, integrity in the in the regular Google definition. Mm. It says the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. A lot of guys don't have that, man. A lot of guys in GMS don't have that. Read that again, Bible Kusha. Integrity. The quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. Ooh. Come on, man. Yeah, that's gun smoke. The first thing I think about is Job, man. <laughs> think about Job and when, when he was going through the things that he was going through and so on and so forth. And what happened? He stood on business. He had the integrity that, you know, this is what I signed up for and this is what I'm standing on. And ain't nothing going to change it, regardless of my woman saying what she's saying. She got demons on her. She's saying this and so on and so forth. But I ain't switching up on nothing. You got it, brother. Hey, and when you go into the online etymology for uh, integrity, I'm not going to read it, but it goes into uh, uh, innocence, blamelessness, chastity, and purity. Because when, when, you, when you have your integrity, I just like the brother was saying, say you 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 you, you uh, promise to make it to you know see a brother or something like that, but you can't. You get you get ahead of that. You get in front of that thing, whatever it may be. I'm just using that as an example. That way, mm -hmm. you know, and also being honest too. You can't lie to a brother. Hey, you you are blameless now. The brother can't say, damn, he didn't come pick me up because of this, that, and the third. No, you got in front of what you seen was a mistake or something happened and you, you cleared up the air. Now you're blameless. You're innocent. You see? That, that lying shit got to stop too, man. I, That's right. You a lot of fucking, a lot of guys lying shit too. That shit got to stop, man. You know, the Lord going to fuck you up for that shit. Lying to the brothers, man. Oh, I'm going to say this. That old half lie, I told you the truth, but... Uh, left some shit out, the Lord gonna fuck you up. <clears throat> Ain't no such thing as a half truth and the truth. It's a goddamn lie, man. Mm -hmm. And one more. All right. That whole exaggerating or playing stupid shit. You just, oh, I don't remember. Must have misspoke, must have misheard. Now nah, the Lord gonna fuck you up, man. You know? And like I said, it might not be now. All right. Might not be tomorrow, but it's gonna happen, man. Because brothers are coming to you honest with a pure heart, all right, in, 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 in hopes of making whatever was wrong right, man. So we can move on, all right. So we can go from glory to glory, glory in hopes of getting the kingdom, man. Anybody got time for that shit? Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead, uh. You want to uh say something, Kaya? Or yeah, brother's kind of kind of grabbing what I was uh, going to mention about just people that kind of come around the sheepfold and being joined into them, you know, and, and make commitments, you know, say false oaths, things that they heart or they moving in the spirit at the time, but then they don't follow through with the things that they say because the Lord judge a man off his heart. And that, that was coming from his heart. He got to stand by it and live by it, which men have came around us and vow oaths. So I'm going to come around. I'm really going to be in the spirit of the Lord. I love y'all with big Bibles and leaning shoes, you know, mm -hmm. but then go and do something completely different. All right. And don't even stay, you know, connected to the fold. But again, like you say, hey, hey, when you come around this thing and they didn't have the chicken eating. You know, dude, come around, come on a leg. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, it ate chicken and never came back. But again, the law marked down these things, man. You know, what is it? And you ought to take heed to who you have been around yeah. and what you have been a part of because this thing is holy unto the Lord. This is our uh, expert one and 20. Now, I'm going to bring out that, that kind of like that account that I bought with Judas, but. This is what happened when you come around a Lord or come in a fold of the Lord and then don't continue therein. Because it ain't about 
you know, what you get uh, or what you come around is about where you stand and what you could keep, man. All right. And what you could finish. Jay think is about starting, but what the Lord is about finishing, man. This is mm -hmm. X1. And uh, hey, now I mentioned this. It's a start. It definitely is about that dash in the middle, too. That dash That's is good. And how you finish, man. That's you right. Gotta, you gotta keep all that, man. The start, the middle, and the end, man. Fuck all that. You know, <laughs> because you might you might start off fast at a bad end, a bad middle. All right, then you finish strong or you finish bad. You gotta make that shit right though, you know. Even with yourself, you you must be real with yourself in the in, in ultimately in the end, man. Cause you got guys. I just seen guys lie to themselves in the truth, man. Oh, ain't nothing wrong. And, and come on, man. Come on, brother. Like, you know, really? We gonna we gonna sit here and play games? Like, there ain't no problem. Come on, man. You gotta be real with yourself. You come to the realization that what X Y Z is is doing whatever to you. All right. But go ahead, up. Come on. This is X one. I'm gonna jump around a little bit, but bear with me. Um, Bayan, this Acts one and sixteen, it says, "Men and brethren, the scripture must needs be fulfilled." So this is not what a man say. This is not a an agenda. All right, it's the scripture. It's the word of the Lord. So this is your hour shine. This must be fulfilled. Which the Holy Ghost by David spake before concerning Judas. Which was God to them that took Yahweh shot. For he was numbered with us and had obtained part of the ministry. So most men, all right, that come around, the Lord, even though you didn't continue in, the Lord still uh basically counted your lot as being around this thing. It's really more dreadful to you than anything. All right. If you actually come around for a small season and you know actually being joined to the hip. You know, those that actually trust the Lord, it, hey, man, it's more needful for you to have never even did that. It says, especially if you obtain part in the ministry, you know. Now, yeah, this man. Man, let's be real about a lot of this shit, man. You know, when brothers do come around, brothers treat you right, man. Nobody, nobody acting wild, crazy with you and shit. Brothers treating you like, like a brother, man, you know. Mm -hmm. Give you some chicken, all that shit, man. You know, beer, wine, whatever, whatever it may be, and and and, and getting on your level. Nobody fucking over nobody over here, man. You know, so go ahead, Doc. Yeah, no man that came around us could say we wronged them, even though if they was impatient in the spirit with the Lord, you know, just wanting to cross over, and and just you know, hey, look, I need to, I ain't doing nothing for the Lord, and that's another thing. You're a part of the ministry if you don't grow impatient in the ministry. Patience means to suffer. So while you do come around, the men of the Lord is a process of how you approach and serve the Lord. You can't just pop out and serve the Lord. It don't work like that. All right? That's numbering yourself among the lots of the saints. It's a lot. So there's a process in the lot that has to take place. I run into you thoroughly as fully serving the Lord. And when you come around the Lord, you on the clock. The clock start. You are doing something for the Lord, man. I got, I got, I got one real fast. You got it. Uh, let me see where I'm going to start. I'm going to start at 11. This is Sirach 2 and 11. It says, for the Lord is full of passion and mercy, long-suffering, and very pitiful in forgiveness, forgiveness of sins and save it in a time of affliction. Woe be unto the fearful hearts and faint hands and sinners that go two ways. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, he believe not. Therefore shall he not be defended. This is the point coming up next. Verse 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience. Mm -hmm. What will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Yeah. They say war to you that lost patience, which that means destruction. All mm -hmm. right, war to you that's not willing to suffer for the Lord. Because again, your time is not the Lord time. All right, or uh, the way that you want to serve the Lord is not the way the Lord wants you to serve him. All right, so there's a, a, a required patience in this thing, which ultimately interacts into a man's integrity, his moral principles. Is he willing to 
wait to develop for the Lord is he's willing to, to take it day by day to the Lord, uh, level him up to serve him right, man. All right? You're not serving the Lord right when you come around. You don't know how to serve the Lord, man. Go ahead, Bayan. Yeah, if I could add to you, because like I said, what what's typically the outcome of it uh, when, when Jake's typically uh, stray away from the Lord? All right. They they in that mindset of like, I don't I don't feel like waiting. I want it now. I yeah. Want something now. You hear me? I want this career that I want it now. You hear me? I want my family to be happy now. All right. And not having that patience and so on and so forth. That's that's the Lord going to fuck you up, man, because we know it's greater things to come. If you be patient and suffer back in your hey, that's that's worldly, too, man. Right. All right. That's a real worldly trait because the world. Oh, really in here in Babylon, they like that's why you got fast foods every fucking well. Because nobody wants to wait for the process. All right. Convenience stores, because nobody wants to wait. Every, every everybody here wants shit to happen like that. All right. And, and that's why a, a man of the Lord is, is built, he should be built on patience. All right. When you deal with the herbs and things centered around his truth, it's built on patience. The herbs don't work overnight, most of them, depending on your ailment. It takes it's a it's a it's a it's a long game. All right, and a, and a man of the Lord has to be in the business of the long game. All right, you better be in the business of the long game, even with yourself. You must, like I tell you, brother, all the time, man, you must pray for endurance in this thing, man. All right, because if you haven't had a bad season or uh, 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 something with yourself, you're going to, and you better be able to weather the storm. All right, when Satan come to play with you, when demons come to play with you, you better be there to win the storm because if not, all right, you you will be gone, man. So that's what we gotta do. We gotta we gotta play the long game. A lot of times, man, we gotta look look a forehead of things, man. All right, go ahead, Doc. And that's a that's a diva mentality to have. That's why for this commercial, give him a snicker, then he stack into it, man. All right, well. When you're given the word of the Lord, all right, you got to stay snapped in. You got to stay locked in, man. All right. You're giving your house shot to suck with you. So you got to be patient. All right. And the Lord deal with a man of a broken and contrite spirit. So that's a man who can't get what he want when he want it. All right. And understand there's a, a, a weight to the And like y'all can now say, you know, everybody got a mentality of a fast food mentality. And they won't get it, get it quick. The Judas had that in his next, in his next uh, verse. It says Acts 1 and 17, for he was numbered with us and had obtained, all right, part of the ministry. Now, this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out. But he, he wanted to, to get, he had a little get rich quick scheme all right, he didn't want to stay, he didn't want to be immortally rich with the Lord, man. All right, he wanted to be temporary rich or what get rich right now. And everybody got that mentality in the world, man. I need it now. Give it to me fast, like you were saying, by y'all had a commercial. Give me my check now. I don't want no. It's it's yeah. somebody. Yeah, it's my yeah, yeah, give it to me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with that give it with them, with them bad mustaches and, and, and wigs on. Yes. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, I think the income tax. I, I just forget. I know they like, but I need it now. Or it may be yeah. an insurance company. I, I forget, y'all. And now you know you own it. Exactly. Right. J.G. Wentworth. Yeah, J.G. Wentworth. Give me, I need my cash fast now. Yeah. All right, so they're going to go through some yeah. unclean. Yeah, so I can't can even forget that. You got Juan LaFonta. You got uh fast tax and you had that shit. I need my money, I need it now. I can't you forget yeah. that. Hey, 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 eight seven eight seven seven cash uh, now. Seven, That's the number. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. How can you forget that? <laughs> that shit yeah. drove, drove me crazy, man. Yeah, right. shit. I ain't forget it. I I just forgot the name, brother, but I'm on it. But uh, yeah, yeah that, with this one, this and this what Judas did, but this is symbolic for men who come around and want to play with the Lord in any way. All right? Whether anything you do against the Lord, you betray him. You know, Jake, if you turn away from the word or turn your ear from the word or come around and leave, 
You could have not be doing nothing. You could be regular in the world, not doing nothing. The Lord going to tell your ass up, man. All right? You just think you're getting an easy pass because you like, well, I ain't, I ain't scoffing. You know? If you come around this thing and don't scoff, the Lord going to tell your ass up, man, because you love. So it don't, don't really matter. It says, and it was known, this 19, unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, in so much as that that field is called in their proper tongue, El Sadama, that is to say the field of blood. Because when he purchased, when he went against Yahweh, all right, he bought a, 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 a property and it was a field of blood. But this is the point right here owned by Yon. So like you, brother, uh, bear with me. It says, for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate, let no man dwell therein, and his bishopric let another take. So men who have come and took part in the ministry, your bishopric in the ministry or your place where you would have been or should have been if you leveled up, the Lord going to replace you, all right, and let somebody else take it that look like you. You don't mm -hmm. put somebody in that look exactly like you, man. All oh, right? Okay. All the same yeah. characteristics you have. All the same characteristics. <laughs> it says, wherefore well these men have company with us all the time that Yahweh, I mean, our Lord Yahweh Shai went in and among among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the same day he was taken from us. Must one be or need to be a witness with us at the resurrection? And this this is the point. And they appointed two Joseph called Bersabbas, who who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. And they justice justice means just. And Matthias means gift of God. So the Lord replaced particular men with, with, with these men whose names are known and omens. And they prayed and said, Thou Lord, which knoweth the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen, that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. All right, so Lord replace men of, of the hearts he know that's going to suffer don't suffer with him to follow him, man. When you come around, you're not need for the ministry. The Lord can raise up stones to worship him. So you should be, uh, you should be, uh, pretty much formulate your mind that you're even lucky, not even lucky. You're blessed to be in this, uh, in the presence of the Lord through his men or with his men to serve him. You got it, brother. Con, con. And that was the beautiful point out there in that, uh, what was that, that verse 20 of, you know, the Lord will literally replace a, a, a lookalike, you hear me? A lookalike, an act alike for you, you know? Like, like whatever you think gonna happen, this, we ain't gonna skip a beat. You hear me? You out of the picture, we got somebody else back in this thing ready to roll, you know, how you were supposed to do. All right? So, hey, like I said, Baba Kashav, I made a word, Bishop Prick. Right here is Strong's G, 1984, Episcopate. 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 It says the investigation, the inspection, or the visitation. <laughs> the act by which our power looks into and searches out the ways, the deeds, the characters of men. So that's a process. When you come around, the deeds of your character has to be investigated by other brothers who went through the same process. It don't work like that. You can't come around and just get down, brother. The Lord yeah. got to look into your spirit and to your integrity. All right? So, yeah, you got to stand without for a while. Some men longer than others. All right? But you have to be investigated by the spirit of the Lord. And the men that you see, all the men that the Lord put in charge at that time to investigate you, man. And it's not personal, bro. All right? We don't know who you is. All right? You might be a mass murderer, agent, a federal, all right? A sleeper cell or whatever. Okay? It says, in order to judge them their lot accordingly, whether joyous or sad, man. Come on, man. God, right. Come on. That's good. Y'all got you ever? Y'all got it, brother. You got it, Kalai. You want to say something? Yeah, yeah if I could just say 
and you know, Jay just think we be just saying this, but all these brothers up here had to go through the same process. All right. Hey, when you come around the, the body, bro, you do not know all the tendencies that you have. You know, sometimes Jay just do wicked shit and fuck all the time, especially when you just coming around, you fresh out the world. You don't even know how to move yet. Uh, holy. And brothers overlook a lot of that shit because we know you rough around the edges. We know you don't understand right now. You know what I'm saying? All right? And then, um, like, you know, in, 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 in certain instances, you know, the hair situation, being having dreadlocks, the bald heads, and different other shit. Like, brothers ain't going to tell you nothing. Uh, brothers might tell you something, but over time, it's, it's on you. If you sit here and wrestle with that shit, can't get over it, hey, that's that's more time you be on the side. It's like you obviously don't get it right now, you know? Mm -hmm. But over time, you should be putting yourself on a fast track, understanding the process of a protocol and how things go. What I need to do to furthermore better myself with, with the Lord and better myself within the within the ministry, man. All right. It shouldn't be wasting time. You know, it, you know, time don't wait on nobody. You should be on a fast course. Trying to trying to get it, not being distracted by all type of other shit, man. All right, the broads can wait. All right, you know the the coworkers and all these other places that shit can wait. I must get this right now. This is a this is a, a vital part of my salvation. All that other shit talking about that shit don't have nothing to do with your salvation, man. All right, this dude getting this right now that that's what matters, man. Go ahead, huh? and, and when you become then this is what Jay gotta consider greatly. When you be when you basically start to be investigated by the Lord or you come around his beloved word, you're on the clock to be put to death a life. And that's why it says in Deuteronomy, all right, he said, choose ye this day. So you start your death clock if you fall away, or you're gonna be turned over to life. So this investigation get very vital. Even in a regular FBI investigation, they're watching you to see if you're guilty or you're going to be cleared, cleared of all charges. But one day they're going to come and get you. Mm -hmm. All right? Or you're going to be exonerated. So it's the same thing with the Lord, man. All right? When you get on that investigation clock, it's on. Go ahead, I'm why You got it, brother. You're on mute, brother. You're on mute. Huh. Just real quick to back what you just said. I was holding it earlier, and then uh, Kabar posted it, but it came back. It's uh, Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 24. But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? Question mark. All his righteousness that he have done shall not be mentioned. In his trespass that he have trespassed, and in his sin that he have sinned, in them shall he die. So all your righteousness, all your your brotherhood, you you brought, you know brought brothers food, water, all of this. When you go back into the world, it's like you never did any of that. It's just yep. it's like it just it goes back to zero. Your your record of, of righteousness gets expunged. And it says this: Yet you say the way of Yahweh is not equal. Here now, O Israel, O house of Israel, is not my way equal? Are not your ways unequal? Right. So Jake is looking at the Most High like that ain't fair. Look, I didn't. I done done all this righteousness, and that if I just go back in the world, I just I want to start a family. You're gonna kill me for that. That's you know that's not fair. That's unequal. It yeah. says, when a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and dieth in them for his iniquity that he have done, shall he die? Again, when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he have committed and doeth that which is lawful and right, he shall save his soul alive. Because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he have committed, he shall surely live and shall not die. So the Most High has the ability to forgive you for all the wickedness that you've done in the world, all of the, the just idolatry, adultery, just all sins that are worthy of death. He has the ability to forgive you when you come into the truth. So you're saying, oh, it's not fair for me to go back into the world and get killed. Well, it's very fair because, first of all, you've been wicked your whole life. Before you came across the truth, you were wicked. Uh, even other lives too, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't they even know the sins that, that we committed. You, you don't know the sins that you've committed, so you need repentance. You need 
forgiveness, you need mercy. And for you to turn back into the world, like it says in Hebrews, it's impossible to, to repent again. And that word impossible is heavy because the scriptures clearly tell you that all things are possible with the most high. So for him to say, look, it's impossible for you to repent once you go back into the world, that's that's heavy. Like you, yeah. you're talking with a, a omnipotent power, and he's telling you, I can't do it. I can't forgive oh, you man. twice. I can't, I can't do it again. Yeah, they, got, they got men that we personally know, brothers down here. We personally know men that labor with us. I mean, we was by these men houses, doing lessons with them, eating, you know, praying and fasting and you know, all of all the spiritual things amongst them. Yeah. You know, and they, and they went back, you know, and men even, you know, scratched out their hand even further to try to help. Hey, man, come on, man. Like, just keep going, keep pushing, no matter what. Because every man have their peaks and their valleys. So, you know, you if you are, you know, you're a spiritual man, then you're a judge matters and such. Hey, man, you know, a man ain't, you know, he didn't really offend brothers in a brotherhood. He didn't do unrighteous things like that. You know, maybe just in a season of he being weak. And we supposed to help our brothers when they fall mm -hmm. and you know and, and and tarry with them. It says, "Be with a, a a godly man who will tarry with thee when thou shalt miscarry." So, you know, and some of the things men are some men are weaker than other brothers, and and they may fall harder than other brothers. You know, but nonetheless, you're supposed to tarry with them. But when men are trying harder for you to stand the truth than you want for yourself, man. Come on, man. That's a slap in your brother's face, man. All mm -hmm. right. It says yeah. in Sarat, help thy neighbor according to thy power, but make it sure thou fall not into the same hole that he's in, man. But as brothers, we got to uh, uh, constantly help each other, man, to uh, get the kingdom of heaven. But go ahead, Bayan. Khan, like I said, just to back you up, brother, because like I said, we know that in this walk that, we, that we're going in right now, man. You know, some brothers are falling, some brothers are tripping, you know, so on and so forth. And, you know, it's it's our duty to hold everything up together. But put it put this in your mind right here. As a brother is seeing you tripping and you falling. And then all of a sudden you like, man, like, fuck you. I don't I don't want to talk to you no more. I don't want to deal with you. Or I'm going to just close the door in your face. Like, I don't want to talk to you ever again. It's like, bro, like, what, what, what did I do wrong? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you, you know. So it's just like that's like backing up the brother. That's a slap in the face, man. We're doing everything possible that we could to keep this business running, to keep this thing going, and for you to be that uh uh, uh, uh David David Ruffin with the temptations, you know, uh, want to be bigger than a group and go ahead and go ahead and do something on your own. You, you're gonna see what, what what's gonna come to the end for you. But. Some guys are like the guy from the Matrix that y'all brought up. They just want to go back in the world, man. I know the steak is fake. I know this. I know this ain't real. Fuck it. I just. I'm, I enjoy it the most. And, and, and you know, a lot of those guys, you let them. You let them be gone, man. All right, go ahead. Go do your thing, man. And you will see that the grass ain't green on the other side. All right. Because we had to break. Ultimately, we had to break of all hell breaking loose. All right, and you're gonna be left out there butt ass naked, man. The Lord's not gonna defend you, all right? Because a lot, like I said, I noticed too, a lot of guys forget you know, they quote these scriptures and say, Oh, the angels are recording this and doing this, but hey, goddamn, nigga, don't you think the Lord recording your your your, your thoughts, recording yeah. your actions, and what you say, and how you deal with brothers, man? Come on, man. Okay. I guess you know, when it get to you, it's, it's just a what it, what they say. Uh, it's a it's a double standard when it come to you. It don't count. The Lord tell you multiple times in scriptures that uh, he's not a respected person, man. Yeah. They don't they don't they don't stop when they get to you. Well, go ahead. Uh, uh, any brothers got any last remarks or any precepts? I got one more to end it off with. I'll say that follow up with uh, y'all can not just say uh. Mercy rejoice over judgment. So if you stand the mercy of the Lord, his mercies endure forever. The Lord judgment again, you know, heavy is the hand, like the Lord hand is heavy with his judgment. So you would rather get mercy or you would rather get judgment, man. So the mercy is rejoicing over the judgment, man. All right. I mean, Jake, which one you want to do? You won't be in a line of the Lord destruction or in the line of the Lord's salvation, man. All right? Fight for a cause. 
have a reason, man. Have purpose with yourself. God gave you drive, man. You got it out. Y'all, by assuming I was shot, gave you drive. You got it, bro. Y'all got it. Okay, you want to see something, right? Kind of. Yeah. You on freeze time. Oh, That's what I'm saying. That bit froze, you better. Yeah, you look like a stuck commercial. I'm straight then. You got it, Bayon. Con, uh, anybody got anything else? No, that was it. Uh, Baba Kashab, Kashab, if you could end it off with that, uh, that Luke, Luke 17, uh, with last wife. Con, this is the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 32. It says, remember Lot's wife, please. You want me to start at 31? Yeah, 31, 32 is where you're going to end at. Uh, it says, in that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Oh, so like one more verse. Go one more. That whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Con, con. Like I said, but like I said, uh, those last two verses were the main point. Remember last wife, man. Because as we all should know, what did what did last wife do? She turned back, man. She turned back of of, of Sodom and Gomorrah of being completely fucking destroyed and and was you know wishing and and thinking and so on and so forth of like damn like I'm this is really gone and what I could have done and so on and so forth and you know still had her heart a part of you know of that land that was that's being destroyed all right and you know ultimately what happened to her you know she was killed man you know don't turn back at this thing don't turn back and it's, it's nothing back there for you you know we're on and we're moving on to better things you know the route is 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 been rocky and so on and so forth of the things that we've been dealing with, but just know that we still moving. You know, prophecies are still rolling. All right, you know, our kingdom is as at hand and is is coming towards us. All right, and you shouldn't be trying to save your life, you know, in this world for for anything. All right, because again, we got greater things to come. But uh, if brothers don't have anything else. Uh, we pray that this lesson was edifying. Trying to get out of here, we want to give infinite honors and prayers too. Yeah, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who taught us his truth. Peace and salutations to you, Akiam, and you, Akwa, that believe in Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.